In this guide, we will show ReFS read-only for Linux usage on desktop Linux. Let's use a virtual machine with Windows Server 2012 to format test storage into the ReFS file system. So we're changing the volume name to ReFS and formatting it into ReFS file system. Afterwards, we're going to copy a test dataset to the REFS volume. This consists of several folders, a few files less than 1 megabyte, a file of more than 4 gigabyte, and other files. We use a Windows Explorer plugin to collect the checksum of our test files. and we then verify it on Windows. Now let's detach the volume from the Windows machine and connect it to a virtual machine with the Linux platform. In our case it runs Ubuntu 16.04. By default the REFS volume is not automatically mounted on Linux we have already pre-installed both UFSD with NTFS and HFS Plus support and UREFS, i.e. REFS support drivers on the Linux platform. Checking that the target REFS volume is slash dev slash SDB1 with the FDISC utility. We use the UREFS driver to mount the SDB1 volume. We mount it to the slash mount slash REFS folder with access rights to all. And we verify that it is mounted with read only access. Let's confirm that the test volume is recognised as REFS by the UREFS driver. Now we open the default Linux file browser to open the REFS volume and review its content. Also, you can copy files from the ReFS volume to the Linux native storage successfully. To verify that the MD5 checksums of our test files on Linux, we are using the MD5 Deep console utility. and we then compare results to the ones from Windows. The ReFS file system is mounted as read-only, so you can't create files or folders on it locally. Now let's share the test data folder on a ReFS volume via the Samba protocol on Linux with access rights to all. We check the Linux machine's IP address via the ifconfig utility. And open this network shared folder on the Windows platform. As you can see, files from the ReFS volume can be successfully shared over the network via the Samba protocol. MD5 checksums match and files can be copied from a remote folder. The ReFS volume is mounted on Linux as read-only, so the system is also prohibiting creation of new files or folders over the network. 
So we've confirmed read-only access to ReFS volumes on Linux via the UREF's driver, both locally and remotely. Thank you for watching.